Oh boy, we're going back to one of my first 3DS games, Kid Icarus Uprising. Oh boy, this is a really good one. I got this game the day I got... Oh no. Okay, whatever. Who? This game came out in 2012 and was the long-awaited sequel to Kid Icarus on NES slash Game Boy. So use your modes you got. You got solo, you can go to the vault. You can battle it out. Multiplayer, so I'm sure it doesn't work. Street Pass, obviously, I don't have that working. And you can adjust your options to your liking, like controls, which... Yeah, you might want to do that, because the controls in this game initially were kind of weird. And then hidden options. Which, I, I will, I'll show you the hidden options, I guess, since I'm here. Hidden options. So yeah, at some point you do get the Veridi menu. I'm, I'm keeping it as Palatina because I'm an OG. You also got AR cards. I can actually show those to you guys because I still have them. I don't have the big box thing, but I still got the AR. Oh, there's my AR cards. Give me a minute. Oh, God. Check this out. Look at this. I still have the insert. I have all three of those games now. Oh, look at this. You can get Netflix on your 3DS. You can play virtual console games. Nintendo Zone. I never played with Nintendo Zone, actually. And then look at this. Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 3D Land, Mario Kart 7. And yes, I said it like that just to mess with people. <coughs> Excuse me. These are what the AR cards look like. You got Mono Eye, Medusa. It looks like she's about standard orbicles. Dark Lord Gal. Pit. Palatina. You know, I think the 3DS wanted to be like this AR card juggernaut, but it never like came to fruition, so they just kind of died out. Like that, that's one thing. And yes, this game is back when there were still manuals. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into solo mode. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, how to play in case you are a noob for some reason. So you got idle toss, which you launch an egg. So here's what you do. Just throw the egg in there. You go like. And you unlock Poseidon. Like this. Look at this. You got the R RM generator. I will go through this game's plot in detail in a moment. Okay, you need your stylus for this. Boom. The Immortal Phoenix. Centurion Assist. So anyway, you got your arms all to where you buy and fuse weapons. You equip your weapons here. What do I even have? I got a Babel Club that does 290 damage. Okay, we'll roll with it. Practice mode for some reason. And you can check your rewards you receive. This is actually a big part of the game where you go hunt and look at stuff. I don't think I'll ever have this complete. Um, so yeah, you got all these. You got Palutena's, Verides, and Hades. Yes, Hades is in the game. I will move out and show you. Okay, don't look. So chapter one, Return of Palutena. Then you've Magnus is a side character. He's pretty cool in Chapter 2. You guys go and kick Dark Lord Gal's ass. Um, here you fight um, Hugh Draw, and then he splits into three heads, and you fight him. The Reaper's last sight. You just fight some Reaper dude. And then you fight Pandora in Chapter 5. It was pretty intense. And then Chapter 6, after at the end of Chapter 5, Pandora makes Dark Pit. Sort of. I'm not going to spoil how that happens, but... Then Dark Pit comes and you have to deal with him. And then here, you fight, um... Oh god, what was his name? Thanos? Thanatos, I think was his name. Anyway, so Poseidon helps you fight Thanatos. And then right here, you get the three sacred treasures. And then you go and fight Medusa. And then after that, you find out Hades resurrected her and he is the bad guy. So then you go and try to find the Wish Seed. And then Veridi gets pissed at everyone and decides to fight you. And then the Reset Bomb is supposed to reset the Earth, and that doesn't quite happen. And then um, the Lunar Sanctum is in our Veridi level. Lightning Battle, that is not quite a Veridi level. 
And then that this is the arm right here, the mysterious invaders. That's their hive. That's their brain. And then pretty much what happens is few year time skip and then ring of chaos happens magnus and pit run into each other and then magnus beats pit's body while pete's while pit's controlling him with his soul and then pit has to go and get the lightning go do the lightning chariot um and try getting to palatina because she's been controlled by the arum and then that battle ensues and then the chaos vortex i can't remember what that one was Oh, right, this was that, um, one battle. I don't remember. Um, Scorch Fires, anyway, was the result of that, where Pit loot gets burnt up, so he has to go to the, um, rewind, um, thingy-mabobber. Rewind, um, well, and you fight, you fight Pandora. Lord of the Underworld is the first attempt to fight Hades, and he kicks your ass. Three trials, so you get a new sacred weapon. And then the war ends as the final battle of Hades. And then that is how you, and that is the boss battle. You fight every boss in the game, and it is tough as balls. So some people complain about the gameplay in this game. I'll show you chapter one of Chirp Palatine. We're gonna we're gonna be real stingy here and go standard because I haven't played this game in forever. And here's some the dialogue in this game's also awesome. Swing aimlessly. I just fly around. Instead of doing this, I just fly around. Yeah, I just set my controls just to not do that. Medusa. This is Medusa. And that is how you defeat all air troops. And then you charge it. See, if you don't fire your weapon for a minute, charge it up. Go down like this. And there's an air and ground mechanic, so you can find the air and you can find the ground. So I have, there's some power-ups to make the game easier. Sorry, I was getting into it. Ooh, look at this. Look at me, I'm kicking everyone's butt. So this is the air mode. It's a right fighter, changed my mind. He's sucking her off. And this is actually how you spend most of the game, I'd say, is in ground more than air. You know, you do spend some time in the air. I'd say it's more of a ground battle thing. Okay, now time to wreck everyone's shit because... I'm not using the stylus.
Oh, here, I'll show you what this is real quick, and this is why you want to play the game on higher difficulties when possible. Now, on this side, there's a chest. You get many of these during the game. Food restores your health. Oh, whoops. I want this. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how the boss battles go too real quick. All right, so this is, I'd say get this game now, by the way. Okay, that's not how you do that, I thought. So then you take, see this is how, this is what you take before a boss battle, that full health, drink of the gods, then you go in there, and then you go and beat whoever's ass you need to beat, and this one is a dog, I think. They changed the names. He's a pushover. This game has some pretty um, rockin' tunes, too, so just letting you know. Just gonna... Here's the beginning of level 1's cutscene. And then this is what happens. You're done! Unless you get rewards, which I never do. So anyway, um, this was a little longer review than what I usually do, but I felt the need to outline because it is one of my favorite 3DS games of all time. So, um, let's go, let's see if I can go back to the title screen. That thing's cool. Here we go. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Go out and get some Kid Icarus Uprise and like, comment, subscribe. Hit the sub button in the bottom right hand corner. Hit that notification bell after that. And then check out the Instagram in the description below. Have a nice day and goodbye.